Ian, thank you very much for the invitation to University of Wolverhampton. Now, principally we're here on behalf of Warwick Machine Tools, who have sold you their Exitec wire EDM machine. However, I'm interested to find out about the manufacturing process that you have here and the investment. The investment has been huge. We've invested um, around about £12 million pounds over the last sort of two years. Um, this investment has come um, uh, with the advice of, of industry, basically. Normally, we'd ask academics um, which direction we would go in, but um, this time we haven't. The, m the money has come solely from, from the university itself. Um, they've invested in lab uh, facilities, workshop facilities, and um, technology. Um, the aim is a, a holistic approach so that we can um, look at um, manufacturing, uh, p component manufacturing, um, design, um, test, simulation, um, verification of those, those uh, parts that are manufactured. Um, it, it's, it's something that, um, how do I put it? We, we know that local industry certainly um, demand uh, this level of expertise, um, high value manufacturing, high value engineering. And we, we believe that we've put something in place that delivers that. Now, Ian, we know there's a, a skill shortage in the industry, some 200,000. Now, how many students do you have through here? Um, at the beginning of the investment, we started off with a, around about 400 students across all of our courses. We're now over 600 uh, students, pushing sort of 700. The aim in the next few years is to get towards sort of uh, 900,000 uh, students. The money was invested so that we could double our student numbers. Um, li like you say, quite rightly, there's a huge skill shortage, um, not just in the local area, but um, nationally. Um, we believe that what we've put in place, again, as I say, the, the high value, high tech end of things, um, training our students to be competent to use all this sort of equipment and manage it, use it, integrate it, install it into their companies that they go to. This is what industry has asked from us. This is what we're trying to deliver. And I suppose with technology transfer, if you're um, manufacturing for these cars that we see here today, there's other areas like aerospace, I suppose, your students can work in. Absolutely, yeah. And, and we're, we're right in the middle of um, aerospace manufacturing technology. Um, we've got various companies um, very close to us on the M54. Um, so we've, we've got students that have uh, graduated and gone on to there. We're also doing a lot of research with those guys. Now, I, I see with the processes that you have here, you have additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Uh, you have a inspection metrology room. Now, the, all these parts that you're manufacturing here on the cars that we're looking at, are they all manufactured in-house, like a one-stop shop? Um, mostly. That's, that's what we aim for. Um, it's, a, it's a good term to use, actually. Um, it's our philosophy. A lot of us are, are uh, I'm ex-engineer, you know, so I come from industry and, and a lot of the guys that are, are managing, um, certainly the motorsport side of things, again, have, have come from the industry. Um, our driver, our professional driver, he's not an academic, he's not a student, he's a professional driver. So we, we aim to have a, a, a real experience for the students, so much so that um, companies recognise that. They, they see real tangible proof items that the students have manufactured, designed, and the students can quite happily stand and talk about their parts. It's not that somebody else has made it and they, they have no clue how it was made or, or what the process was. They're involved right from the start, conceptual design, actual design, test of the design, the list is endless and, and we can provide all of that. And you got something in your hand, obviously a part of, uh, I understand this, uh, this beast beside us, but could you tell us the process of, of the part in your hand? Um, yeah, you, 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 obviously we, we've stood right next to our uh, former student car. This is um, the third year that we've done former student. Um, the idea is that the students get involved in manufacturing the car um, pretty much from the ground up, chassis, bodywork, you name it really. Here at the University of Wolverhampton, um, we aim to um, kind of break the rules as much as possible. We, we do stir, stir things up quite a bit. Um, a lot of the parts, um, like the part that I'm holding in my hand, um, exotic materials, materials that you wouldn't normally be able to machine. Um, this is where the, the wire EDM comes in again, um, materials that we literally cannot cut. So we need that level of technology, that level of precision. 
a lot of parts on the car um, as students design and 3D print, again in exotic materials, in canal, um, more aging steel, uh, and also uh, titanium. Um, so this, this is what we're aiming for. Um, prospective employers see these things. They, they, uh, they're very skeptical. They, that's what, that's the, 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 the position that they come from. Um, but they see it and it's real and, and it, it wins a lot, of, uh, a lot of jobs for our, our students. Now, Ian, we've seen the end products with the cars. Now, what I want to talk to you about is the process and how you use some of the machines. Now, we're here principally for Warwick Machine Tools on the Exitec, the 650 size of machine, but could you tell us how you use the EDM wire machine? Um, as I explained, we, we expect our students to be able to be hands-on, uh, manufacture parts, whether that's by material removal or additive. Um, you've got a a pretty good idea now that we, we additively manufacture a lot of parts. Um, there are issues associated with, with the additive process. One, again, as I, as I mentioned, we, we're making a lot of parts out of exotic materials. These become very difficult to cut. This is why we need the EDM process. Also, with the additive process, a lot of parts are built on support structures. These leave um, powder um, within the parts within um, cavities, within the supports. Um, most, um, I say most, uh, wire EDM processes um, struggle massively with, with, with that side of uh, cutting, that type of cutting. Um, the Exitec, um, it, it seems to cope with it very, very well. Now, there is a lot of uh, different manufactured EDM wire machines on the market, but why did you choose Exitec through Warwick Machine Tools? Um, mainly, uh, bizarrely, through frustration, as I say, uh, trying to cut through support structures, um, really, really frustrating. Uh, a lot of breaking uh, of wires, a lot of stopping, starting, and just the speed, very, 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 very slow. Um, so this is, this is why we, we uh, looked around. Our, mach our old machine was old, um, so with, with part of the investment money, we decided to, to refresh our uh, wire EDM um, side of things. We did look at other manufacturers, um, on the whole, um, relatively okay, but seeing the Exitec actually work, we, we were fortunate to be uh, invited to look at a, a, a one running. And, and again, this, this was a company that actually um, did remove parts from the platforms for uh, metal um, additive manufacturers. So they'd already got experience of it. They recommended it, and we, we found that, that their recommendation w was accurate. Now, you've got a, a number of different machines here. Uh, you've got Herco machine tools here. You've got the additive manufacturing machines from EOS. But how often is the EDM XTEX machine used? L literally every day. Um, we, we, because of the demand that we have on the, um, um, the ALM side of things, the additive side of things, certainly with the EOS machines, we do a lot of uh, work for the students, as, as, again, as you saw. We also do a lot of work for industry. We have very good ties with, with, with local industry and, and national industry, um, within, certainly within the motorsports field and also aerospace. Um, so it, it's, it's well in demand. It is the only one that we've got at, at present. Um, so all the machine funnels through that. We don't tend to do a lot of technical cuts, even though we, we do expect it to be able to do that. A lot of it is this kind of um, robust, repetitive uh, removal of parts from plates. I see that um, with the additive manufacturing machines, this EDM or the Xtech 650 has got to be a crucial player to, for the end products to your cars. It is. We, we, we literally couldn't do what we do otherwise. Um, beyond that, we would have to send parts out to be machined, um, to be removed from the plates. The other thing is, you need to bear in mind that we're only uh, cutting through um, a quarter of a millimetre, uh, 0.25 of a millimetre. So the actual waste is minimal as well. Conventionally, we would have to print more material to be able to saw through and then remachine those afterwards. It's, it's, a, it's a massive time saver. And the backup and support you get from Warwick Machine Tools? Is excellent. Um, how much can I say, really? Um, yeah, we, we've got their phone numbers. They, they talk us through many things. Um, like most technology, there's always something that uh, we, we want to do um, that's, that we don't know how to do. 
we have come across. Um, we, we did come across one item, uh, one thing that we wanted it to do, which because we're um, using the machine in an unconventional way, um, the way the machine worked, um, it did handle it. But even uh, Warwick did actually explain that it was, it was quite an unconventional thing. We, we, we make unconventional parts, I'm afraid. Well, I know you guys are very unique, but for any engineers that are looking for a, a new EDM wire or sink, would you put Exatec in the mix, or they should be? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, I would definitely recommend it. Very reliable, very robust, um, very, very accurate. We, we don't, certainly don't worry, worry about the accuracy. We know we can achieve that. Ian, thanks very much for your time. A big learning curve for me. Thanks very much. Thank you.